What's going on, everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, I'm testing out the latest version of the Game Hub emulator for Android on a Mali GPU device. And this version 4.1.3 finally brings support for Mali GPU devices, especially those who are using from low end to flagship devices. Earlier, most games wouldn't even start on Mali GPUs, but now that's a different story. Mali GPUs are finally stepping into the ring, going head to head with Snapdragon's Adreno GPUs. Games like Grand Theft Auto V or some other titles which are based on DirectX 10 or 11 are now actually running. Anyway, let's put it to the test and see how well it will perform. And the phone I'm using right now is the Infinix GT30 Pro, powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 835C Ultimate, which is a high-end chipset. It comes with a Mali G6 15 6-core GPU with the latest system drivers. This phone has 8 gigs of RAM and UFS 4 storage. Anyways, I'll close everything. So let's open the Game Hub emulator. As usual, log in with your account. And there we go. We're on the main interface. Let's go to the My section. Here, the setup process is the same as usual, just like we did in our recent videos. As I mentioned, they've now added support for Mali GPU devices. The Game Fusion team announced this version of the Android PC emulator for successfully unlocking the potential of Mali GPU architecture. This update brings AAA level capabilities to the MediaTek Dimensity series to support DirectX 9 to 11 titles with performance comparable to Snapdragon Adreno GPUs, even more so in future updates. Well, currently it's still in the early stages, but we can definitely expect better performance soon, especially as Mali GPU game optimization improves. So anyway, as usual, let's import some games. I've already copied a few PC games to the phone storage. Add the game's executable file. The required drivers will be downloaded automatically. I'll also add some more titles to the home screen. And there we go, they're added. Now select a game and go to PC game settings. Here the startup file path is already assigned. Set the screen resolution, lower is always better. Next, go to compatibility. And these are the recommended driver settings by default. Also make sure DXVK 1.7.2 is selected. Also, set the VRAM limit to one to two gigs and that's more than enough. And all other settings are the same as usual. Leave everything at default. And one more thing. Here make sure the CPU translator is set to built-in. That's it. Now get back and load the game. As you can see, they've changed the loading screen style. It's powered by Game Fusion. Let's set it to full screen. In performance settings, it's the same as usual. In controls, enable input mapping. And at the top, you can see the FPS stats are now in horizontal view. All right, it's started. And look at this, guys. We're actually getting better performance this time, around 30 to 40 FPS. Of course, we're still in the first mission, but it's actually impressive. This time, the memory leak issue also seems fixed, like the RAM full issue we saw in WinLater. As this phone only has 8 gigs of RAM, and it's running really well using around 85% of memory. Well, we'll have to see how it performs in real world testing. Also in performance settings, enable HDR and super resolution for better visual quality. Right now, the game is running on DirectX 11 settings. If we lower it to DX10, we might even get more stable FPS.
So, to do this, I'll import the save file to the game path to skip the first mission directly. And there we go. Let's go to settings again. We're running on DirectX 11 for this test, and everything is set to normal preset. Also, do let me know if you want me to test this on the Dimensity 7300, which is a lower version of this version. Now let's change settings to DirectX 10. Everything is set to normal, and let's see. Okay, okay, all right. We're in the beach area right now. And to be honest, it runs pretty decently. There are some minor lags here and there, but of course, this is just the beginning for Mali GPUs, and a performance quite similar to the Snapdragon 888, which I tested in recent videos, I mean like months ago. But still, this MediaTek Dimensity 8350 is more powerful than that if it's optimized. So that's all for today's video, guys. And this latest Game Hub update has definitely made a big leap, bringing Mali GPU support into the spotlight. Even though it's still early, the performance is already quite impressive, especially considering we're testing it on a high-end Dimensity phone. I'll soon also test it on low mid-end Mali GPU devices. So if you found this video helpful, do drop a like and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more. And Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.